24 hours before the third half. What's going through your mind right now? Is sense of anxiety, nerves, or anything? Is it really 24 hours? <laughs> Just about. Like 20, what, like 29? <laughs> yeah, a little hours. Or something like that. It's exciting. Uh, yeah, I'm saying that right now. I don't know. Probably tomorrow, I'll probably won't even be able to do anything because I'll be so nervous. But... <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no hints, no hints. <laughs> Shut up, tomorrow. <laughs> do you have any special thing to do tomorrow in your city? Huh? Do you have anything to do in your city tomorrow? Tomorrow, uh, I'm going to get a crispy shape up, shape up, and I'm going to get a, uh, it's like a hairline. <laughs> get a... Uh, Chill, I can see the fam a little bit. I mean, the NBA just have, has us doing stuff all the time, so we're just nonstop. But I'll tell you what, I won't be sleeping a lot tonight. All right. Too excited? Too excited. Too many things to do. Night and day. Do you kind of want to know, like, what's happening with KG? Since that kind of could impact you. <laughs> Are you curious? I'm curious, but... <laughs> We're not going to know until tomorrow. That's what everybody keeps asking questions. Like, do you think you know where you're going to go? I have no idea. Who are some of the NBA guys you kind of emulated growing up, or who are the guys you looked at? I really like Scotty Pippen growing up. I like Reggie Miller. So he used to do all the answers, you know. He's a Nick killer. Uh, as soon as the draft is over, I'll be on my I'll be on 51st Street, you know what I'm saying? I'll be right on my block. All my people will be waiting for me over there. I mean... It's crazy. I live 20. I can walk to my house from the draft. Mock drafts have you going. I mean, is that going to be like as exciting as when you guys won the championship, or how does, how does it compare? I think it's two different feelings. I think winning the championship was uh, something that I was so excited for our team, for the university, and it's some type of excitement. I don't think I'm not sure if I could experience something like that again. But I think it's something pretty special for me uh, personally, for my family, just because of all the hard work that we put. Man, I don't think it compares to winning a national championship. Progress um, I feel like I learned a lot at the University of Florida. I feel like I'm a player who, who experienced a lot. Um, freshman year, not playing a lot of minutes. And that was very tough, but it was definitely humbling and um, something that I'll never forget. And I think it's, it, it helped me. But, you know, fuel a fire inside of me and to work even harder. I was very good, uh, a very strong work ethic and um, be ready for the, for, for whatever task was ahead. And I feel like my sophomore year got a lot of attention after winning the national championship and being the most outstanding player my, uh, my sophomore year. And the expectations were really overwhelming and I feel like um, through the year, uh, I was really under a microscope in everything that I did. Um, just even living on campus was crazy with all the students. It's, it wasn't like an NBA environment where you know you're secluded and you have security. We were living with all the students and everything. And, you know, just having to say no for the first time in my life, just saying no to people. That that wasn't something that I was used to doing. So I feel like. I feel like I'm the college player who's experienced the most in three years, and I feel like it's definitely going to help me um, at the next level. How do you think playing big games in Florida has prepared you for playing in the NBA? I feel like they prepared me a lot just because, you know, being on that stage and having to make big shots and having to, having to make good decisions. Again, it's a final four. It's, yeah, it's a tough atmosphere to be in, but I feel like it's going to be mentally tough. So you worked out for some teams. I mean, like, do you have any inclination, like, a preference or anything that you talk about kind of openly? Or it's yeah, I think the, the way that I kind of look at it is since I don't have control of the situation, I just I'm just going to take care of everything, take, everything take care of itself. You know, I'm excited about the process. And, and we'll, we'll, just, we'll just see what happens. One GM who said that he wouldn't have any problem with taking you high except for the fact that you weigh 185 pounds. He was a little worried about that. Are you worried about that? I'm not worried about it. Everybody's been worried about that my whole life. I'm here right now, so I <laughs> you keep worrying about it. He's going to be, be ready just for my name to be called. It's going to be a dream come true when it happens. How much did you play it out when you were a little boy? How much did you play uh, this Thursday out going up there? You play, I played that a lot. You know, I used to watch it on TV all the time, me and my mom and my brother, my dad. So we used to watch all the drafts. And I used to be like, I'm going to be up there one day. When you're a little kid, you don't really 
you know, realizing it may actually happen. That's actually happening. So it's, it's exciting. Just because, not because of how French are or anything like that, just my situation with my father and I was um, in New York, I, my father wasn't around. People didn't really know who he was growing up. People were like, oh, that's the son of Yannick. So, in France, I'm the son. Regardless if I win 10 NBA championships, I'm the son of Yannick. No, he's the man out there. So, I feel like, you know, New York just helped me be who I am. And even freshman year when I didn't, when I didn't uh, play a lot, I feel like, you know, I went, went up to Harlem and played all those street tournaments. I feel like that definitely helped me, you know, get my swag off and helped me like, get my, my confidence going. I mean, I, I love New York, New York, and I always have a, a piece of my heart. How do you feel about being compared to Scotty Pippen? I like that comparison. <laughs> like I said, you want to see two guys play, play the game. Is there a good competition between uh, the Florida guys for who's going to wear the craziest thing tomorrow night? Uh, maybe Allen and Kim. I'm just wearing something simple. I'm not trying to get too crazy. For when all the workouts were finally over last night, what was that like and how much did you miss? It's a long flight. From Phoenix to here. <laughs> Had to step beside their film the whole way back. <laughs> nah. <laughs> it was good. Your projections are three in the top ten. How special would that be if that indeed happened? That'd be great. I don't, I don't know how many times that's ever happened. We got three guys in the top ten. That'd be great. You know, making history. It's what getting <laughs>